squeaky stinks. Another way to turn an illegal search into a legal one when you can't get permission from a judge for a warrant is to get permission from a dog. Say they pull you over and want to search your car. You don't give them permission and they can't get a warrant because they have no legitimate reason to. Out comes the police canine unit to sniff the car. All you need is a dog that's trained to sniff for drugs to alert to the smell of something and you get to go through everything looking for whatever. There's just one problem. Dogs don't do that. Yes, they have the capacity to distinguish the smell of drugs when properly trained, but they don't think in terms of, I smell drugs, I'd better alert Master. They think, what can I do that'll make Master happy? And if giving a false alert makes Master happy, that's what they'll do. According to a study from the University of California, Davis, it's more likely that the alert is a clever Hans effect. The dog's behavior is more influenced by cognitive factors than the presence of smells they're trained to detect. That's why there are so many false alerts where no drugs were found. In a study by the Chicago Tribune, only 44% of dog alerts led to the discovery of drugs. That's less accurate than flipping a coin! Unfortunately, there's been little suspicion by the courts no matter how often that happens. The Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals accepts as credible drug dogs that are only 43% reliable. And in at least one Supreme Court case, Florida v. Harris, you can't even dismiss probable cause if the drugs found aren't even ones the dog is trained to detect. By the way, there are no uniform standards whatsoever for the certification of drug dogs. It's also telling that, according to the Tribune report, drug dogs tend to be as racist as their handlers. The accuracy of alerts for Hispanic drivers was only 27%. Dogs are just that good at picking up subconscious cues from their masters. So maybe don't blame the dog's nose, because no matter what, something certainly stinks.